Capstone Day is the culmination of four years of 100% immersion learning by the midshipmen. It's a chance for the midshipmen to show their peers, their fellow midshipmen, the faculty, and lots of external sponsors what they've learned over four years in a real practical, hands-on way. The phrase capstone is oftentimes thought of as a science or engineering senior year project. At the Naval Academy, essentially every midshipman engages in a capstone. If a student is majoring in a language here, a foreign language, then their capstone would involve some kind of oral or poster presentation to their colleagues about what they've done with their language skills. And of course, in engineering and science, it would be the project that they've built or, or designed, and they want to show people the fruits of their labor. The new race now is kind of the race of the autonomous underwater vehicle and there's a lot of you know, good things that are, can come out of that but when it comes to the estuarine environment such as what we have here when you want to do something in such a dynamic environment your best choice is something like a surface vehicle and when it comes to DOD applications things like that I mean look at everything that's going on around us right here we have YPs coming in and constantly trainings are going on and if we're able to better calculate understand and map what's out there from an autonomous perspective, we can cut down the amount of time it takes to understand our environment in you know, like a quarter of the amount of time. Today's just really a big day for all of us. You know, everybody here has been working hard, so it means a lot to everybody. And uh, to me specifically, I mean, we put a whole, I put a lot of work into this. I feel like there's still so much more that still has to be done. I feel like this is still in its absolute infancy, and there's future processes, future additions, different mounting systems that can be applied to any kayak or any okay. type of vehicle in general. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface right now. The primary things that the Navy and the Marine Corps are looking for out of our graduates are all demonstrated by way of the Senior Capstone Project to build critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, innovation, and teamwork. But the real value of it is the midshipmen love doing it. They've spent three plus years here and this is their chance to do something that they got really excited about and to prove that to other people. We got involved in this capstone because there's a satellite dish, a children's satellite dish out of Hospital Point, and it was destroyed in a hurricane 15 years ago, and it's not been operational since. And the opportunity was presented to go out there and fix it, and it seemed like, like a really interesting project. It's out of the ordinary. It was a special opportunity, and we just talked to each other and, and agreed that it seemed like a cool thing to do. So we've been working on it all year. Been out to the dish a few times to just do some maintenance work. It's been a lot of fun. What this capstone teaches really is responsibility. All the things that we've needed to solve this problem have been taught to us already in classes. But the key really is that the capstone program lets us do our own thing, poses a problem, and then we move on from there and find the solution. The success of this capstone entirely depends on teamwork. I mean, without all of us pulling our weight and doing stuff together and figuring out problems together, nothing would have gotten done. It's a very valuable teamwork experience. An interesting point, we realized that we were getting just ghost signals from the DB25 coming down in. Presenting our project to uh, a bunch of people who knew what they were talking about was extremely nerve-wracking. If we said something wrong, if we said something that, that we weren't sure of, I'm, I'm sure they would have called us out on it, but I think it went really well. Having a functional satellite dish is gonna do a, a lot for the Naval Academy. We used to be able to talk to the International Space Station to ping satellites that we had put up ourselves, and, and we lost that. It, it's just really cool to know that someday, hopefully someday soon, Michigan are gonna have that again. That last year when they do their capstones, they get to display what they've learned back, so the faculty get to sit back and enjoy the, the product that they've been helping to build. So it's our little secret, we don't tell the midshipmen it's about them, but the faculty take a lot of pride in watching uh, the results of three plus years of hard work on everybody's part. It's really rewarding for everyone. Yeah, I was a midshipman at the Naval Academy in 1998, so it's particularly meaningful to me to be cultivating a whole new generation of people going through the same experiences that I went through, because it, it helped develop me as a military officer. Our mission is to educate midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically, and I think the project-based learning environments that we can provide within the sciences, I think truly challenges them from the standpoint of their intellectual growth and matures them as individuals who can learn to question and understand the world around them. Although they may not go into the sciences per se, I think it makes them much better off officers. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that makes them much better stewards of the future of this country. Every soldier, sailor, or airman wears a uniform. 
that uniform performs certain functions, one of our goals is to make those uniforms multifunctional so that they can do things like sense threats, detect antigens or toxins. Or be more flame retardant, improve the hydrophobicity of the material, make them more lightweight. The ability that we actually have an atomic force microscope here at the Naval Academy is really impactful. And we worked really hard to be able to get the funding to actually have it. And we can do nanomechanical mapping, we can do more topographical images. And this kind of stuff is not usually something that an undergrad or a midshipman would actually be able to do anywhere else. Definitely have to thank Dr. Yates a ton for helping train me up on this instrument, for sure. But you can see here, this is just an optical microscope that's actually this part right here of the instrument. And you can see the sample below, it has all the ridges, and that's an artifact from the cutting on the microtome that we showed upstairs. A capstone project can be something that a particular midshipman came up with themselves, but the best ones are the ones that are practical applications motivated by somebody outside the Naval Academy. So nothing like having someone saying, hey, this matters to us, and a midshipman realizing this isn't an academic pencil and paper thing. This is a real project that if we do it well, might actually get some use out in the world, whether it's in the Navy and the Marine Corps or the commercial sector. Our project, we were tasked with producing a low-cost residential sanitation system for a small island off the southern coast of Haiti that didn't have any infrastructure uh, or plumbing, use local resources, be low cost, and provide that sanitation that the island desperately needs. We worked through the design process that we were taught here at the Naval Academy and uh, ultimately came to building a product, making it a manual for it, and then presenting it to a classroom full of academics that had questions about the product. Notre Dame has this whole competition that revolves around these robots actually playing football and we have quarterbacks and they have uh, linebackers, that sort of thing. And you actually get out there with a the whole team and you go head to head with another just to prove kind of the concepts and our own designs. So what was nice is that we had a small team that was able to work on these two individual robots that successors can build upon. And we hope to one day convert the capstone team that we have now into a much greater, larger team so that we can actually have players and controllers and engineers and uh, mm -hmm. can actually compete against other schools and on the field. The robot football team was very appreciative of the support we got from the Project Based Learning Gift Fund. The fund allowed us to travel to Notre Dame and compete in this year's robotic football combine. And the best part about travel is for these students to meet their peers at other schools and enjoy the camaraderie and the competition. Finally getting done with uh, robotic football was quite the relief. I mean, it all went great thanks to the contributions of everyone that was involved. It's awesome to have that input from experts and to have this kind of sounding board. We've learned a lot, we know how to plan now, definitely know how to deal with some difficulties. So I can't, can't wait to see where uh, the team takes us in the future.